Cross County 2, Rangers 4. And I think that scoreline does flatter. Well, it does flatter Ross County, but again, at the back, it was very questionable at times. But you know what? Three points is all that matters. We could have scored a lot more, but we could have conceded it a few more, to be fair. Um, but I, I mean, I think for last season, obviously, you've got to expect that we're just going to concede more goals because last season was just phenomenal. But at the same time, it's kind of just like the basics. Like, somebody just isn't tracking. I mean, albeit yesterday, our second goal was a penalty. And it is it is a handball. That happens against us. You'd want it given, so you can't really complain um, too much about that. But I feel like Ross County started no bad in this game. But then, two quick-fire goals. Joe Aribo bends it. Top left-hand corner. Good night. No reply. Um, for Ross County at this stage. Goldson. Then with a Tavernier assist, it's been a while since we fucking heard the one of them. But that goes into the back of the net, 2-0. Then we're just in complete control of the game. And then literally just a set piece. We kind of fall asleep. McGregor makes a great save. And then big um, Harry fucking sticks it in the back of the net. And you're thinking, damn, 2-1. That's what we're going into half time with. Absolute shit. And it didn't really create much... Big Harry Clark, his name is. Didn't really create much towards the end of half time. It was just, it was kind of just. I know there's been a lot of that recently. You know, like when Lundstrom got sent off in that last Kirk game, it was like, what the fuck was the need of that? You know, and also some goals we can see that against like Malmo and shit. But end of the second half, we were we were the much better team. I mean, we were the much better team overall. Like, I mean, I guess there's no fucking two ways about it but the ball was played to Morelos you can you, you can say he didn't mean this but the placement was fucking top notch on this N no goalie in the world could have fucking saved this man because it's just like there's not like there isn't a great amount of pace in the ball but it is just it's fucking placed that well and if he meant it for a fucking play it just shows you how fucking good he is and I don't know when Morelos scores a goal there's just something great about seeing him celebrate compared to everyone else. Not that it's not great when anyone else scores, but I just feel like with him, it's a wee bit more special. But then, you know, a few more chances put the game to bed. There's a few free kicks. Ross County not exactly offering much, but then there is a shot um, that hits off Bassey. I just assumed that it's going to be a corner, but then the ref's like, well, you know what, big man? We're going to make this a penalty. Big Jordan White steps up, makes it free too. You're thinking, oh, Where's a sad song going? But thankfully, a few subs come on. Seen the likes of Lundstrom, Arfield, Lundstrom. There's no bad here. I mean, I was kind of expecting them to go kamikaze again and fucking two foot somebody out of the Highlands. But um, no, he did pretty well in the build up to Arfield's goal. Arfield manages to get the rebound of Morelos' save shot, makes it 4 2, and that is the game done. Then we have a few set pieces towards the end that could have went in. But, um,. Didn't. And then, aye, three points. And we'll do a quick wee rundown of the league table because the top six are separated by one point. You've got Hibs on seven, Aberdeen on seven, Hearts on seven, Celtic on six, us on six, and then Dundee United also on six. And um be interesting to see what happens. But yeah, good way to start off the week. Obviously, we've got a lash cart midweek and then the big one, the old farm, and that will be who can put the gauntlet down. I mean, Celtic had a pretty shit start to the season, getting beat by Hearts, and then pumped by Midtjylland, but then we literally did the exact same, getting beat by Dundee United, and then getting pumped by Malmo. So it's been two very similar starts for the old firm, but I'm not, ba I'm not I mean, I'm not deluded. Celtic have been better in recent weeks. I mean, they've won 6-0 twice. Can't fucking argue with that. And, um, Aye, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes down. But until then, peace.